Mungu akijua kwamba unataka uzima ili umtumikie he will heal you now not tomorrow ushinda kwa ibada inakuongezea neema ya the holy week haiwezekani nyinyi ambaye mmeokoka muwe mnateseka kuliko watu ambao hawajaokoka Mungu anaweza kukumbuka at your advanced age Tazamaji wetu popote pale mlipo wale wa YouTube wa website na TV ya KNM ningependa nukaribishe katika ibada hii na ikiwa ndio ibada ya mwisho katika mwaka wa tatu ni siku njema ambaye wewe unasahili ujue jinsi ya kwanza na jinsi ya kumaliza mwaka na ukaribisha katika mkesha wetu leo tunaanza saa moja jioni mpaka saa mbili asubuhi tuombe Mungu so that we may usher in the new year 2024 We'd like to thank God because he has made it and the Lord has been faithful to us that's why we are alive despite all the challenges and the things that we have seen and the things that we have not seen God has been faithful to us and we must give him all the glory and honor I challenge you wherever you are please You may not have food at home but you can come for the food of the spirit come so that we may assemble together and pray to our God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask and think our viewers internationally may the Lord bless you you are being faithful to the calling You have supported the ministry. God bless you. Let it be known to you and to all people who have stood with you that your prayers, your supplications has reached the presence of the Almighty God. And as a servant of God, I can't forget to thank you all for standing with the work of the ministry you have supported the the gospel may the lord bless you as we cross over to the new year may you experience overflow and may the grace of god take you to places where men will not be able to take you god bless you i would like us to go straight to the word of god and we are reading from revelation chapter 12 revelation chapter 12 we christians we are called believers because we believe in the word of god Revelation chapter 12 verse 7 This is what the Bible says And there was war in heaven Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not neither was there place found any more in heaven And the great dragon was cast out and Satan which deceived the whole world he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him and i heard a loud voice saying in heaven now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of 
our God and the power of Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God, our God, day and night. May the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Brethren, as we come to the end of this year, I would like to remind you one thing, one critical thing that God had planned right from the beginning, and that is the spirit of warfare. The devil has not left the church and the people in the church. And many people have resulted in following satanic tactics. There are people who have failed in the church. And they have resolved to follow the devil. And also to go to the witch doctors so that they may bewitch their brothers and sisters. And to you who is a believer, to you who is a preacher, I have good news that no matter what men plan against you, if God be on your side, no weapon for the against you shall prevail. Stand firm, worship the Lord as we come to the end of 2023. The Bible says that, and there was war in heaven. You have fought for too long. The whole year, you have been fighting a month every month, a month every month. And things maybe have turned against you. Your friends have run away from you. But keep on, press on, preach the word of God in season. And out of season. If God, if the devil had power, he would have destroyed you. But because he's powerless and all his devices are powerless, you need to be faithful to your God because God will always fight for you. The Bible says, and there was war in heaven. Can you imagine? He went to heaven to fight the angels. This is the work of the enemy. He may come into your, he, he may come in your house. He may come into your ministry to fight you. But one thing you should know as a believer. He tried it in heaven. He couldn't make it. And there's no way he's going to make it in your life. Being a believer, being a preacher, being the, the, the spreader of the good news. The Lord will fight for you and the enemy will not take over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible said there was war. There was war in heaven. He fought in heaven. Can you imagine if he had those guts to attack the angels in heaven? What would he do? When he's given that chance to come into your house. He will do us. If he, get, he, he had that uh, chance to, to worship. To be worshipped. Of which many people have worshipped him. Many people have followed the enemy. Not knowing that their destiny will end into the hell of fire. He fought. He fought. He went in heaven. The devil fought in heaven. Some of you have been fought terribly. Let me encourage you. That he initiated that war. But he cannot finish it. Because your God will send you angels to protect you and to fight for you. Just as it was in heaven. That the war that the devil began, it, it ended up with God's testimony. They gave a testimony of victory. We are going to...
to win in the name of Jesus Christ. We are victorious because God has fought for us. God is with us and God shall be with us. Can I hear amen from somebody? And there was war in heaven and it prevailed not. The Bible says that he initiated the war but he did not prevail. I prophesy as a man of God that the devil will not prevail what he began in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says he prevailed not. He can initiate anything. The devil can, be, can initiate anything, be it good or bad. He can initiate anything, but he don't know how to finish what he has started. And we serve a God who can fight for you to the end. And today, Jehovah God will fight for you as we are go as we are come to the end of the year of 2023. He will fight for you and will emerge out to be a winner in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 2023, maybe you did not make it, but I prophesy you will make it next year in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the devil initiated in your life, he cannot finish it. God is the author and the finisher of good things. He who began it, he will finish it. Our God is a good God. Amen. And he prevailed not, neither was there a place found anymore in heaven. He will not find any space in your place. And the Bible says in verse and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven now is come salvation and strength now is come salvation and strength today we shall be assembling in God's temple just to hear the voice of God God has a word for you he has seen what you have gone through but today as we cross over, we shall be crossing over so that we may take over our possessions. We, are, we are, will be coming here. We will be assembling. Please, if you will not make it to come, watch us on your TV because we are going to pray and we are going to pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are coming here tonight to hear the voice of the Lord. And we will hear it because he has spoken. And the Bible says, and now is come salvation and strength. Today, God is going to strengthen you. Amen. As you hear his voice, he's going to strengthen you. You are going to be saved by the grace of God. And the Bible says, continue to say that, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down. You are accuser. Men and women who have accused you, they will have no place because our God will fight for you. Amen. Can you lift up your hand and say, my father, my God, fight for me. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You will emerge victorious. Because you serve. A successful. And a victorious God. And there was war in heaven. Remember there was war in heaven. He initiated the battle. But he could not finish it. What the devil began in your life. He will not be able to accomplish it. Because at the end. He will meet the fire of God. At the end, he will meet your Savior. At the end, he will meet the glory of God. And he won't make it. He cannot cross that red line. Because that is the point where God is waiting for you. God has stretched his hand. And he's going to take care of you. He's going to save you from, from, from all demonic devices. You are protected a child of God. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. You shall finish 2023.
free with the victory in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord heal you in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall sing a new song and you shall say, This far has the Lord made it for me in the name of Jesus Christ. You are a child of God. You are blessed of God. You are protected in the name of Jesus Christ. You are not a failure. You are a winner. Because God has proclaimed the victory at the end of the tunnel. In the name of Jesus Christ. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, the Bible says. But God saved them. God delivers him from all. May the Lord deliver you from all your afflictions this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have gone through hell. You have gone through fire. But I have the word of God. God has sent me to you to tell you that you shall emerge a winner. In the name of Jesus Christ. May you receive the anointing for success in Jesus name. The battle, the, uh, the battle does not belong to you now. The battle belongs to God. And he who carries the power carries the day. God has all the power. You will carry the day and God will fight for you. I can see, I can see your stars shining in 2024 in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall not perish like perishable goods you are unique because god is on your side amen 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 may the lord fight for you in jesus name i say may the lord fight for you in the name of jesus i say may the lord fight for you in the name of jesus amen they attacked men of god but they came out victorious. 2023 is coming to an end. And tomorrow, by the grace of God, midnight, by the grace of God, we will be singing a new song. I'm saying you will be singing a new song. Hallelujah. You will be singing a new song in Jesus' name. Psalm 23. Psalm 23. Oh, I'm in Proverbs. Sorry. Psalm 23. I want us to read it together. I in Psalm 23. All right. One read. The Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in the green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of what? The shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff. They comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies thou anointest my head with oil and my cup does what runneth over the lord is my shepherd amen let god be your shepherd he will take care of you he will lead you to green pastures he will protect you amen let god be your your shepherd bwana ndiye nani Mchungaji wangu. Let God be your shepherd today. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying may the Lord be your shepherd today in Jesus name. Because if he becomes your shepherd he will take care of you. Two, he will lead you to green pastures. Three, he will protect you. Four, he will anoint you with the oil. 
and your cup shall run over. Amen. Amen. Your cup shall run over. If he protects you, if he guides you, if he shepherds you, and when he anoints you with oil. Thou anointest my head with oil, and uh, my cup runneth over. Tegemea mungu, mungu atakupigania. Tegemea mungu, mungu atakuwa pamoja na wewe. Tegemea mungu, mungu atakuzalishia mambo mazuri. Kwa sababu yeye ndiye mchungaji wako. Mungu wa kubariki sana. Can you stand in the presence of the Almighty God? I want us to pray and I want us to thank God for the year 2023. It has been, it has been a challenging year. But uh, we want to pray that God will bless us. God is going to be with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We shall not cross over with this year's failure. We want to cross over with victory and success. Tunataka kutuvuke na baraka. Amen. Hapo nyumbani na omba baraka juya maisha yako. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord protect you. I decree and declare it shall be well with you wherever you are, wherever you, you are going. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord meet all your 2024 uh, needs in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you in advance and decree and declare that it shall be well with you as we come to the end of 2023. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with you. May the Lord protect you. I break that generation of curse in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I break that spirit of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Thou spirit of prayerlessness, I command you to dry up in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.